What's up guys, it's Captains here, and I have a domination game for you. This one is PDW57, Slums is the map. I have the PDW with the primary gunfighter, wildcard with stock, silencer, and fast mag. And I have the UAV, hunter killer, hellstorm, missile, killstreaks. And I haven't uploaded a video for like two weeks or something insane. Uh, it's not necessarily I would say my fault I mean it kind of is you could blame it on me because uh, I wasn't recording any of my gameplays live and I got five gameplays to upload for you guys but since I wasn't recording it live I had to put it on theater mode and as you most of you know theater mode has not been working because of the 10th prestige glitch that was found out by Treyarch so they had to put the servers on DEFCON 3 for four weeks or two weeks or whatever and it was at the wrong time too I mean if theater mode was open I would still be uploading regularly it's just for some reason when I got all these gameplays and I didn't have my laptop down and I've been having really good sessions in this game I've noticed that like I've been doing really well lately and I've been playing search and I've been playing Dom I've been playing those two game modes mostly and some hard point too and I, I'm just going to say it, I've done really well lately the past few days. I know my KD's still not that good because I didn't figure out how to do well, but I'm going to just share with you guys what I've been doing to do really well lately. By the way, this is 48 and 17. Uh, I usually have my standards above 30 kills, under 10 deaths, but I'll compensate a little. So because I got 18 more than 30 kills, I'll go 7 more than 10 deaths. That's fine with me because I get some cool kill feeds in this game too. But anyways, back on topic to the Black Ops 2 uh, tips and tricks. I think mainly you don't want to rely on your gun skill as much in uh, this game as much as you did in Modern Warfare 3 because... You know, as you know, this game still has those little, oh, I hit you a million times and I still freaking get killed because of a headshot or something bullshit. But that's why you don't want to rely on gunfights. They're extremely inconsistent. Every single gun is pretty inconsistent in this game. Uh, the MSMC is probably the most consistent out of those inconsistent guns, but they're still inconsistent. And... So what you want to do instead is you want to focus on map control and the way you play. You want to play not nearly as aggressive. You can still play aggressive and win. I still play aggressive and win most of the time. But I think the key thing is map control. And it's kind of hard to explain what map control is. I mean, it's just like controlling the map, having your positioning on the map, controlling where the enemies are spawning in domination, controlling where the enemies are in search and destroy. Those are just a few examples and like controlling the hard point in and where uh the hard points will be and where the enemies are based on the hard point those are kind of map control basic ideas in uh uh specific day game specific game mode sorry um so that's i think is the key it's more of a mental game than a actual gun skill game i would say because, like I said, the inconsistency in the gunfights. But that's pretty cool. That's just what I wanted to say. Map control is key. I learned that actually from I'm Marksman. Uh, you guys mo probably know who he is. But he's a really good search player. And I was tweeting at him. And he was. Uh, I asked him what map control was. Because I noticed that he was mentioning it in some of his commentaries. Where he, um, where he would go really good scores. So I decided like I would ask him what it was and he basically tried to explain that the best he could. I kind of understand it now. But when I think like we need map control and we need map control, I do better. I do a lot better. And that's what I was doing this game. So I think it's kind of cool. My standards, as you notice, like I said earlier, are lower. And I think the main reason for that is because of the low kill streaks. Uh, I don't go on 15 kill streaks too often. I have done it before, or many times before. Though I feel that I'm way more of a consistent player, which is kind of hard to be in this game. Uh, more of a consistent player when I have lower kill streaks because I can consistently get those kill streaks and I can consistently kill people. And with the UAV so dominant, I love it so. That's why I have the low kill streaks. Um, yeah, like for example, there was this one gameplay I got yesterday where I went 
uh, I started out the game 20 and 0, which means I would have gotten what a lodestar, maybe a canine unit, because of the assists and uh, uh, orbital VSAT. I would have gotten all of those kill streaks there. I don't know if I would. I might have gotten a swarm because of the orbital VSAT, but I don't know. I wouldn't have gotten a swarm just with those 20 kills. But if I had the orbital VSAT, I might have been able to get a swarm that game. But that's just an example of a game where I could have gotten a lot more kills if I had higher kill streaks. But because I have lower kill streaks, I have to lower my standards, which means that. Uh, I can't bring you very many 100 pluses. That's kind of my point from this. That like, I'm I'm not a guy who goes for 100 pluses that often, uh, because like I just said, the lower kill streaks. So that's that. Right here, you're gonna see something awesome. You saw that triple C4. So right here, you're gonna see me just rage, uh, rampaging on these kids. And then look, I get my hunter killer. I'm about to kill one more guy or get a kill with this hunter killer, which will give me... Oh, no, I didn't get the kill with the hunter killer. I'll kill this guy right here, which will give me my Hellstorm missile. And then, look, I go down. I see these three guys. I just decided to fire my burst. And look, a quad! Yeah. <laughs> yep, quad. Uh, so I got the quad C4, then the quad Hellstorm missile. Quad Hellstorm missiles are not that impressive. It's just kind of... It's kind of fun to use when you get a quad with a Hellstorm missile because you just get to fire all of those little tiny Predator missiles on the enemies. I find that really fun. So, uh, yeah, I like the Hellstorm missile C4 combo. That's pretty good, like you saw right there. But uh, this game, these kids didn't even know I hit them. Like, you see, they're not even ready, and I'm just pre-firing on them, jumping around corners and all this stuff, and they don't even know what's coming, so... I found that uh, last lately because of the skill-based matchmaking, which by the way was taken out today, uh, I thought that uh, I was facing a lot worse enemies as a matter of fact because I'm very busy. I already made a commentary about that. So I'm only level 54. I'm not prestiged yet. So <laughs> I've been facing players who are really not that good. My score per minute I think is a 237. So that's not that high if you guys were wondering so i definitely have not been playing the best player so i've been able to do stuff like this look at this oh i got shotgun there but um you can see that early, like a lot of these gunfights i'm dominating because these players just frankly aren't that good but i like uh i didn't really like the skill based matchmaking i i I mean, I did because I wasn't facing really good players, but I couldn't imagine when I prestige and I get to face all of these bad, really good GB players and it's going to be awful because, you know, um, that's going to be really bad when I go to play them. But then the skill-based matchmaking gets taken out, so I don't have to worry about that. It's back to normal. But, uh, yeah, I thought that this game so far... I'm not a big fan of the connection, the servers, typical Treyarch stuff. I like the zombies. I still think Infinity Ward has better servers and connection than Treyarch, though. Infinity Ward gets hacked a lot more. So, all in all, this game is good. I like this game. I think it's pretty good, though. Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4 are far superior to this game. I still like this game more than the original Black Ops, even though I was better at uh, Black Ops 1 than this game. But I still thought, think that this game has made a lot of good improvements from Black Ops 2 and that they have um, been able to make a good game. I still think that Infinity War does make the better Call of Duty, but that's just my opinion. Uh, I know you guys can leave in the comments what you think you don't have to. Uh, it's kind of weird having a one-sided conversation here, but that's the gameplay for you guys. Thank you guys for listening. Like, favorite, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Bye!